Japan and China are in a serious face-off. Japan, trying to stay strong, has upgraded its military with cool stuff like stealth fighters and cyber weapons. But here's the real twist. Japan just revealed two super-secret weapons. What are they? Could these be the game-changers in this East Asian showdown? Get ready for a short and exciting story of Japan's quest for power. Join us. We're talking about how Japan surprised China with two super-fast weapons. It's like a cool tech story you don't want to miss. Let's break it down. Hypersonic weapons are super-fast missiles, going more than five times the speed of sound. That's faster than you can imagine. To give you an idea, they can zip from New York to London in less than an hour. And it's not just about speed, they're super precise and pack a serious punch, whether they carry regular or nuclear warheads. Here's the kicker. These missiles can dodge normal defense systems like it's a game. Regular missile defenses can't keep up because they're built for slower, predictable missiles. These hypersonic guys can launch from all sorts of places. Think land vehicles, ships, planes, or even satellites. They're like the ultimate surprise attack, causing chaos and shaking up global safety. Hypersonic missiles are a big deal, posing a major challenge to keeping the world stable and secure. Diving into the world of hypersonic missiles, we find two main types, hypersonic cruise missiles and hypersonic glide vehicles. First up, hypersonic cruise missiles are like regular ones, but with a cool twist. They have special engines like scramjets. Scramjets are engines that gulp in air, squash it, mix it with fuel, and shoot it out to zoom forward. They're super speedy, but need a boost to kick off. Rockets can do that. They carry their own fuel and shoot out hot gases to propel forward. These hypersonic cruise missiles zoom close to the ground, sneaking past radars. They can also change directions mid-flight, playing a tricky game that makes them super hard to catch. They're like the ninja warriors of the missile world. Hypersonic glide vehicles differ from cruise missiles lacking engines or boosters. Launched by ballistic missiles or space vehicles, they glide at high altitudes toward targets. Shaped for lift and navigation, they create shockwaves, making them hard to detect with unpredictable trajectories evading defenses. Their maneuverability makes them elusive. Broadly, hypersonic missiles are potent, altering global power dynamics. Yet ethical concerns arise, addressing arms races, treaty compliance, and preventing accidental launches. Japan's recent reveal of two hypersonic weapons surprises China. The first, an enhanced Type 12 surface-to-ship missile promises swift, precise strikes, marking a notable advance in high-speed warfare. Japan's Defense Ministry made a big announcement. They're speeding up the deployment of the upgraded Type 12 SSM by a whole year. Originally set for 2016, it's now happening in 2025, according to their mid-December press release. Why the rush? Well, Japan wants to amp up its defense game, especially with the growing military threats from North Korea, China, and Russia. These three countries are busy developing their own hypersonic weapons, causing a real headache for Japan's security. Back in April, the Defense Ministry joined forces with Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, MHI, to work on the enhanced Type 12 SSMs. They threw in 33.8 billion Japanese yen, around 235 million, for the updated prototype in the 2023 budget. The total cost for researching and developing this missile is estimated to hit 150 billion Japanese yen. Hold on, there's more. Japan is not putting all its eggs in one basket. They're also eyeing standoff missiles and drones for future defense plans. Plus, in the next 10 years, Japan aims to have hypersonic standoff missiles zipping around at five times the speed of sound. It's all part of their strategy to stay ahead in the defense game. Japan is upgrading its military to deal with potential threats from China, North Korea, and Russia. The focus is on countering China's aggressive actions, particularly concerning Taiwan and ally Japan values. North Korea's fast-progressing missile program is also causing concern for Japan, especially with missiles that can reach its shores. The Type 12 SSM, originally with a 200-kilometer range, is getting a boost to at least 900 kilometers, maybe even 1-200 kilometers. This means Japan can now hit targets much farther away, the new version also has a sleeker design, making it tougher to spot on radar. The upgrade plan 
started in December 2020, aiming to improve the missile's performance and flexibility. These missiles can launch from ships, planers, or land vehicles and are equipped with a cool feature called Up-to-Date Command. This allows the missile to get real-time targeting updates via satellite communications mid-flight, tweaking its course and speed for precise hits. Why the longer range? In 2020, Japan noticed China expanding its navy and military in the East and South China Seas. They saw China as a potential threat, especially regarding the disputed Senkaku Islands. The extended range Type 12 SSM gives Japan an advantage by allowing them to strike Chinese naval vessels from a safe distance, out of reach of Chinese anti-aircraft missiles. It's all part of Japan's plan to stay one step ahead in the security game. In December 2022, Japan made a big decision as part of its national security and defense strategies. They want to have counter-strike capabilities, meaning the ability to strike back if someone attacks them. The Japanese government says this is crucial to prevent invasions. Japan aims to be able to retaliate against any attack on its land or interests by hitting the enemy's bases and control centers. They believe having this power will stop potential attackers from even trying. To strengthen these counter-strike capabilities, Japan is getting advanced missiles from its ally, the United States. Just recently, the US agreed to sell Japan 400 Tomahawk missiles. These are long-range cruise missiles that fly low and hit targets precisely. With a range of 1,600 kilometers, Japan can target far-off enemy bases and control centers. To speed things up, Japan will start receiving these Tomahawk missiles a year earlier, in fiscal 2025. It's all part of Japan's plan to be ready and protected against security threats from North Korea and China. Japan is not only working on its own powerful hypersonic weapons, but is also making a purchase from the United States for some highly effective air-to-air -air missiles. The US State Department has given the green light for the potential sale of these missiles to the Japan Air Self-Defense Force, showing their commitment to supporting Japan's defense and security. On December 15th, the approval for foreign military sales of two air-to-air -air missile types and related equipment valued at $224 million was revealed. The primary missile, the AM-120C-8 AMRAAM, is an advanced all-weather missile launchable from both ground and air. It boasts active radar guidance, a data link for engaging multiple distant targets. Japan, acquiring AMRAAM for its air force, is also getting the Norwegian surface-to-air missile system compatible with AMRAAM. The proposed sale involves 120 AMRAMs, including AIM-120 captive air training missiles for training. The package encompasses missile containers, equipment, and spare parts for the control section, enhancing Japan's air defense capabilities and reinforcing its partnership with the US. Now let's check out the second type of missile, the AM-9X Sidewinder Block II tactical missile. This one's an infrared air-to-air -air missile, part of the AM's Sidewinder short-range missile family. The AM-9X is a nimble and agile missile that homes in on targets using its infrared seeker and data link. What's neat is that the AM-9X can work with ground-based launchers like NASAMS and various aircraft, including the FA-18G, FA-18CD, F-15, F-15C, FA-18EF, F-15E, F-16, F-22, and F-35. The deal includes 44 AM-9X missiles, along with all the needed equipment and services. This second sale, worth US $59.03 million, includes 29 AM-9X Sidewinder CATMs for training. It also covers gear like missile canisters, spare and repair parts, support and test equipment, publications, and technical paperwork. All these items help Japan keep the missiles in great condition and operate them efficiently. Japan's Air Self-Defense Force has a robust fleet of fighter jets ready to carry the AIM-9X Sidewinder. They've got 31 F-35A Lightning II stealthy and versatile fighter jets, plus 156 F-15J Eagles and 44 F-15DJ Eagles. Powerful and reliable aircraft. These jets can use the AIM-9X Sidewinder to engage and take down enemy aircraft in close-range combat. It's all about maintaining top-notch air defense for Japan. The U.S. Defense Security Cooperation Agency, DSCA, aims to boost Japan's defense capabilities by selling missiles 
to address current and future threats. This sale enhances Japan's air defense and cooperation with the U.S. and allies, aligning with U.S. foreign policy and regional stability goals. Importantly, it won't disrupt the military balance and Japan can easily integrate the missiles. The U.S. State Department echoes this, emphasizing improved air defense capabilities and collaboration with allies. The sales contribute to regional security amid threats from North Korea and China. Like the DSCA, the State Department ensures no disturbance to the military balance with a seamless integration of missiles into Japan's armed forces. It's a strategic move for Japan's defense and regional stability. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section.